Everyone's chasing AI exposure right now. Most investors are piling into GPUs, riding the NVIDIA wave, and stacking anything that moves when AI hits the headlines. But that's not where the real opportunity is. The smart money isn't chasing what everyone's buying. It's flowing into what everyone depends on, but few truly understand. There's a company at the core of the AI revolution that doesn't make chips, doesn't run data centers, and doesn't build models. Yet without it, none of those things would exist. No silicon gets built. No hardware gets shipped. No AI gets deployed. This company powers the design stack that turns architecture into reality, and it's been doing that for over three decades. Cadence Design Systems, ticker CDNS, is the quiet engine behind the world's most advanced semiconductors. While NVIDIA gets the spotlight, Cadence provides the tools that make their chips possible. Their software is the backbone of electronic design automation, or EDA, which enables chip makers to test, simulate, and design complex hardware before a single wafer is etched. It's how NVIDIA engineers the H100, how Apple prototypes custom silicon, how Google builds TPUs, and Cadence owns that stack. Most investors have heard the name, but few realize how essential it is. Cadence doesn't sell hardware. It sells the design tools every major chip maker on Earth depends on. That includes hyperscalers, foundries, and fabless semiconductor firms. Their clients can't just switch providers. Doing so would cost millions and delay product launches by quarters. This is embedded software at the core of a trillion-dollar supply chain. And Cadence is the default. Now let's talk about the numbers. Because this isn't just about strategic positioning, it's about financial strength. In the first quarter of 2025, Cadence posted $1.01 billion in revenue, up 23% year over year. Free cash flow came in at $487 million, up 43% over the same period. Gross margin was a staggering 88.4%. Operating margin? 41.7% non-GAP. These are elite metrics. Most chip makers would kill for these margins. Most software companies would kill for this backlog. That's because Cadence operates more like a SaaS business than a semiconductor company. Over 80% of its revenue is recurring and gross retention is through the roof. They're not selling licenses. They're locking in multi-year contracts with the likes of NVIDIA, AMD, Intel and Apple. This is infrastructure-level software with strategic stickiness that's incredibly difficult to displace. Even more impressive, they've already secured $6.44 billion in backlog, an all-time high. That means Cadence isn't waiting for AI demand to show up. They're already booking it. This isn't future hype, it's present execution. And with over 50 new customers onboarded to their Cerebrus AI platform last quarter alone, the pace is accelerating. Now let's pull back and assess the long-term thesis. Is Cadence a momentum play? It's a long-term compounding machine. Analysts expect revenue to rise from $4.3 billion this year to over $6.1 billion by 2027. EPS is projected to climb from $5.97 in 2024 to $10.55 by 2029. That's not built on hope, it's built on contracts, execution and necessity. And that necessity is only growing. As AI chip design becomes more complex, the need for Cadence's tools increases. Their software doesn't just support innovation, it enables it. Every generation of chips requires more precision, more simulation and more advanced workflows. That's the leverage Cadence holds. But let's be honest, no company is bulletproof. Cadence has two very real risks, China and valuation. In 2023, 11% of revenue came from China. This year, management is modeling that number down to zero. Not a reduction, zero. And yet, they still raised full-year guidance. That's how strong the rest of the business is. But the risk isn't over. If the US tightens EDA software restrictions, or if Beijing retaliates by pushing Chinese firms to abandon US tools, that exposure could become a headline risk fast. Second, valuation. 
CDNS currently trades at around 77 times earnings. That's rich. If growth slows or margins slip, that multiple could compress quickly. You're not buying this because it's cheap. You're buying it because it's compounding earnings with an irreplaceable product at the center of AI innovation. But it's essential to price in the geopolitical shadow and avoid blind optimism. So, how's the stock performed? Flat down roughly 3% over the last year. But the business has gotten stronger every quarter. Revenue, EPS, backlog and cash flow are all up. And the market hasn't priced that in. That's the setup I look for. Not chasing the parabolic wave, but stepping into overlooked strength. Technically, $295 has been strong support. It's been tested and respected. $326 is the breakout level. A clean close above that and momentum could return quickly. Personally, I'm not going all in. I'm building slowly, buying on dips and using technical confirmation to guide entries. The fundamentals are bulletproof. The technicals are tightening. The narrative is misunderstood. If you want fast returns or meme stock drama, this isn't the play. But if you want to own the picks and shovels of the AI boom, the software that underpins every chip cadence is it. The company doesn't need to win the AI arms race. It just needs everyone else to keep building. Make no mistake, this is a business that's compounding in real time. Every quarter, they're throwing off more cash without expanding costs. That's operating leverage. It's what great businesses do. Cadence isn't just growing, it's scaling. Now, ask yourself this. Is the business getting stronger every quarter? Yes. Are customer counts, contracts, and cash flow trending up? Yes. Is the product becoming more essential and harder to compete with? Absolutely. So here's your choice. You can keep reacting to headlines and chasing trends, or you can get focused, build a strategy, and start positioning into real compounders while they're still under the radar. No hype, no pumping, just fundamentals, strategy, and execution. If you're serious about AI stock investing, Cadence should be on your radar. Not because it's flashy, but because it's foundational. Let me know in the comments. Do you own Cadence? Do you think the China exposure outweighs the long-term upside? And what other misunderstood AI enablers are you watching? And if you want to follow exactly what I'm buying, when I'm buying it, and how I'm using options to compound faster, join the community. You'll get real-time alerts, weekly insights, and access to the strategies I use to turn research into results. Thanks for watching.